The smoke keeps coming towards me. Not because I'm making it want come to me, but because it wants to. Libra, welcome to your February tarot reading. And first house that I'm getting is I'm not doing this anymore. So I can see you putting down your swords and like you're not going to fight a battle that's like not worth your energy or effort. And if you are, then you're probably going to be fighting it for a while. In your second house, your house of finances, I have the two of wands. So I'm seeing you looking at to expand upon your finances like you don't want to just sit around and just like wait for the money to come to you so much as like you're well I can see like you want to expand like in a way like you want to travel and you want to see like new ways for you to make money you want to find like more avenues as opposed to like just sitting around and like doing the same boring mundane task or working like the same nine to five job hour or like uh, some minimum wage paying job like you're looking to like really expand and grow as a person like when it comes to like your finances as well as like your overall stability in your third house I have the knight of cups I can see you matching with a person like if there's someone that you like, possibly even a Gemini as well, since like they ended up getting the Knight of Cups when in their reading. But I can see you matching with that person. Like that person's a part of your social group or like you just know them like very close. Like it might be a friend of a close friend that like you end up meeting and like you guys just uh, hitting it off very well. In your fourth house, I have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So I can see like not necessarily having like um too much family interactions or like i can see you like spending more time like focusing on like um let's say your career goals and like how you can expand like within this uh two of wands energy like um you're tending more to like your emotions like getting a better understanding of like your emotions and how you feel and like how you want to feel like when it comes to your work and like what kind of and like um how what value you can provide to others that feels emotionally fulfilling for you in your fifth house i have the three of wands reversed like say, playing off of that like i can see like you want to be around like the people that like you feel cooperate that um that are going to act right that aren't going to bring drama within your life like within your day to play like you within your house of play i can see like i can see you just spending more time to yourself oops i liked how that landed over in your seventh house i'll explain that a little bit more later so like within your daily activities within like your um, house of play like you're having more fun by yourself than with others like in your sixth house I have the seven of pentacles so a lot of that fun could come from like you being able to like expand and move out and like uh, gather your resources and be able to like use use them to have fun your own way instead of like depending on others for a good time like you see how this lady's holding her fruit like she has abundance she has all of that she needs like she's taken care of she's well fed she's um she's experiencing a lot of pleasure like within her um immediate environment with what she has around her as far as like your seventh house i have the nine of the nine of pentacles reverse so like I said, like with the three of wands reverse falling over it, it kind of felt like this. What I'm seeing is that like as far as relationship goes, like you're more focused on like doing your own thing. Like maybe you could want a relationship and you do kind of feel lonely, but I can see you focus more so on just you. Like you have your resources, you have what you need, like you're taken care of and you don't want to have to take care of anybody else. You do feel like a little isolation, but like you're okay with that because like you have what you need to survive. You have what you need to take care of yourself and like it's not too difficult to juggle. Like in your sixth house, I have the two of pentacles, which I can see like 
a balance between like two different things, two different obligations. That could be like work and school, like play, and like um, your obligations or like any two things that you feel like you need to balance. So like it could be also be like your friends or your social group. And, like, your responsibilities are, like, you traveling and wanting to expand and, like, you communicating with people. Maybe you're trying to juggle that and, like, get a, um, get it in alignment to where, like, you can have, like, a balance of both. But I see you more so, like, focused on, like, your finances. In your ninth house, I have the moon. So, like, I can see, it doesn't really feel like you're going anywhere, or you feel, like, uh, life even feeling, like, very dreamlike. Possibly you feel like you've hit a milestone, so, like, reaching any further in life kind of feels like a dream, or it kind of feels like, um, I'm already at this point where, like, I'm financially stable, I can create a good social group, I have what I need, and, like, you're happy where you are, but it kind of seems dream like it seems very unreal um, to you. I could even see you like wanting to expand there, but you're not sure like where to go since you've hit like a big milestone. In your 10th house, I have the high priestess. So, as far as work goes, like trust your instincts, trust your intuition, like you know where to go. Like, really follow the butterflies, like they'll lead you. To your next synchronicities and those synchronicities to lead you to even something bigger and lead you to your next manifestation in your 11th house i have the knight of wands so i can see like a lot of traveling like i swear like you're probably going to like date a gemini during the month of february or like <laughs> the gemini ended up getting the knight of wands as well as like the knight of cups as well so like if you plan on traveling you could even possibly be traveling with a gemini or with a friend but i can see like a lot of movement around like when it comes to like communicating and like being able to meet people maybe you have a friend on facebook that you haven't talked to in a while and you're going out to meet them so i can see this more so like you're meeting you have people on social medias or people that you haven't necessarily met in person that you're going to travel and get to know them are friends that live out of state out of the country that you're going to visit so in your 12th house i have the page of pentacles reversed It almost feels like you're letting go of something. I can see this playing within your ninth house, your house of the moon. So it feels like you have to let go of something or like you had this huge burden that you needed to release or maybe it's even your finances. Like you want to check your expenses if you're going to travel or if you're going to expand. As far as like your overall message, I have the thunder coming as your medicine. What I'm getting is, like, don't blame it on people. Like, they're not holding you back. It's only you that can hold yourself back. So, like, if you if you go for what you want or if you have a desire, if you have something that you want to see become a reality, then, like, no one else is going to hold you back. Don't blame them. Just blame yourself. Or don't even blame yourself. Take action. Go to where you want. Alright, to summarize this reading, it looks like within your fire sector, I can see, like, you letting go of, like, the people that, like, aren't acting right. Like, the people that you feel, like, are deceiving you, probably even, like, bringing drama, unnecessary drama into your life, and you have to, like, keep going back and forth, like, in between, like, having to, like, resolve the issue and then, like, argue again. I see you putting it into that. As far as, like, your earth sector goes, like... Trust your instincts, trust your intuition, like, when it comes to your finances. I can even see, like, a lot of, like, manifestation energy. So, like, whatever it is that you decide you want to do, whether that's traveling, um, go out and, like, meet some new people or, like, whatever it is, like, you can attract that. Like, you have the resources available or you can manifest the resources. You just have to trust yourself, like, know that you're able to manifest those resources as far as your air sector goes, what I'm seeing is that you're ready to move out. You're ready to associate, like, with some really good people. And, like, um, you do, I do see, like, feeling a little bit lonely or feeling a little bit of isolation. But, like, 
it, you're okay with it because like you're stable or you're on the path to becoming more financially stable and like taken care of and yeah. and like you're moving out you're you're talking to new people you're exploring like you're branching out and you're doing all these amazing things in order to like keep your mood um to remain in a calm state of mind and like remain happy as far as like your water sector goes like i can see like um you're taking the time out to like decide like what it is that you really want like when it comes to like moving out and like traveling and exploring um i can see you like even taking note of like your finances like you know that there's going to be some expensive so like really taking a uh, note of that and like just getting a better understanding of like how you can make your dreams a reality and like it's all up to you like you don't have to depend on anyone else to get it done because like you're independent you have this knight of this nine of pentacles energy uh libra so that's all i have for the month of february thank you for watching